like the kind of YouTuber that does shopping haul videos, except for today. Today we have a little bit of a haul. I have a handbag in this box and then a whole bunch, I don't even know how many, a whole bunch of small goods in this giant bag. They're all from the same place. They are not all for me, however. I'll explain in a minute. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that's interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Today's video is a collaboration with someone I have never collabed with before, Andrea of AKB Bags. Andrea lives in her babe cave. That's where she films from, and it's my understanding that she rarely leaves, because why would you when you have a babe cave? I thought that was funny because I've never heard that term before. She has a fabulous room with all kinds of fabulous bags and decor, and a fabulous YouTube channel, so of course I will have her linked below. Check out her video as soon as you're done watching mine. I don't know what she bought from this brand, but she has some things to show you as well, and I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, because I don't know, but I'm guessing, since this brand has a wide variety of things, that they'll be different from the ones that I'm showing you today. So be sure you check out her video. Now, Everything that I'm showing you today is from Portland Leather Goods. Some of the items I purchased from their outlet here in Portland, and some I purchased from their website. But then there's the handbag. The handbag has a little bit of a story behind it. I didn't know that this bag existed in this color. I have two of these bags already and I had wanted one in this color, but I hadn't seen one yet in a shade of this color that I really wanted to have and keep. And then I was in a Facebook group for Portland Leather Goods and I saw someone with this and they thought they were gonna love it and didn't, but they were posting pictures and trying to decide. So I messaged them and I was like, hey, if you decide not to keep it, I'd be interested in purchasing it from you. So she sold it to me. And then right after that, they started putting these on the Portland Leather Goods website. They apparently had been up there and I missed it. And now they are sporadically on the site. But let's get into this and see what bag I overpaid a little bit for. Not too much, so not so bad. But she sent it just like it arrived to her. It has the Portland Leather Goods card and the bag is wrapped in the tissue paper. And we open it to reveal Yes, it's green, of course it is. The poppy bag in the color Bacalar. I'll give you a spin. This color leather and the texture of the leather, obviously it's pebbled, it's very smooshy. It is just maybe my favorite leather ever from Portland Leather Goods. You can see a little bit of veining back here, a little wrinkling, gorgeous gorgeous bag. There's the bottom. The front of the poppy bag is one big pocket. The back does not have a pocket, but you can see the stitching because inside the bag, and you have this nice leather zipper pull. Well, you have a crossbody strap too. Inside the bag, it's one big open compartment with just the other side of the leather. And then on the back of the interior, you have a slit pocket. It comes with an adjustable and completely removable crossbody strap. And I think of the poppy as like a big sister to the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire because it's a small bag that you can attach a strap to and wear crossbody. And it's just super casual and easy to use. It's also so much more affordable than the Louis Vuitton. This is under $100, the pochette accessoire. Are they up to a thousand yet? If not, they're close. They've doubled in price since I first started looking at them. Actually more than doubled. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted to do another Portland leather goods video for you. I feel like I haven't done one in a while. Collecting things, I didn't buy all this at once. I've been collecting it for a couple of months. Being able to show it all to you at once gives you a good idea of their selection because they have a lot of things now that they didn't used to have. Back when I was doing a lot of Portland leather goods videos last year, and I do have more coming. Let me show you the other two poppies I have. There's this one in the color nutmeg. It's also a really squishy pebbly leather. And this one in the color Dakota. And that's one of those nubuck type leathers where it shows marks easily. And usually I don't like those, but I love Dakota. I have two bags in Dakota. So those are my three poppies. 
and these are all staying with me. Whereas all of the small goods I'm about to show you, a lot of them are going to other people. Now I won't tell you what's what, like what's mine and what belongs to other people because they're gifts and the people don't know about them yet. And hopefully they're not watching this video and figuring things out. But I have a bag full of goodies here, so let's get started. But yeah, I was saying Portland Leather Goods is so much cheaper than Louis Vuitton and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do another video and show you a lot of what they have right now because I know times are tough for a lot of people, but a lot of people who are into handbags still want to be buying handbags because that's our thing. So this is a way that you can get some nice bags and a lot of variety and a lot of color or neutrals, whatever you like, for a much more affordable price than even the contemporary brands like Coach or Marc Jacobs or certainly the luxury brands like Louis Vuitton. Okay, let's get started. This first piece is for me. It is a computer sleeve. This is in one of my other favorite colors, Surf. I love the variation there. It's like a green turquoise kind of color. Did I just call it Surf? It's not Surf, it's Reef. Reef is brighter, Surf is darker. But this is a slip laptop sleeve. It's stamped Portland leather on the back and then it has this snap at the top. It is padded on the inside and then lined with maybe a microfiber. I also have, and this is not from the haul today, I've shown this before, I have this laptop sleeve. This is in the color Rainforest. And this is a zipped sleeve, also padded and lined on the inside. And I've used this quite a bit and it's been really nice. I saw this piece at the outlet for an incredible price. It was like 40 bucks. So I just picked that up too. I have a giant tote and reef. This will be perfect in there. Okay, let's speed this up. I'm not gonna show you details and all these other things because there's a lot to go through. So I'm just gonna go through them kind of quickly. This is the makeup case, my favorite large largish pouch from Portland Leather Goods. This is in the color Lava and it's the smaller of the two sizes that they offer in the makeup pouch. And it looks like that and that. The interior is always just the other side of the suede so I won't go in there. There are no pockets or anything in it. So there's that. This is a Sidekick pencil pouch. It's in the color Meadow which is actually their honey leather but then it's stamped to look tooled. It's not tooled, it's just stamped. And then it has that zipper around and a little tab here to help you zip it up. Pencil pouch, makeup pouch for brushes, whatever you want to use it for. This is one of their newer products. This is in the color Peacock and it is a glasses case. So you just squeeze it there and it opens up. You can use that for your readers, your sunglasses, but I was also thinking I could store pens in there because I'm always looking for different ways to store pens inside my bags and that'll stay closed really well. If I have like a click pen and it accidentally opens up in here, it's inexpensive enough that I'm not gonna be that upset. I also got one in their deep purple, which they call Plum. This is the Alpine pouch, which is shaped like that, like a Burling Go pouch from Louis Vuitton or from YSL. A few different places have these. I don't know how this shape originated, but I think it's a cool shape. And you can put things like scissors in here because it'll have room for the handle on the other end and then come down to the point at this end. This color is called Cowboy Mint. It's, oops, it's another of my favorite more recent greens. I have quite a few pieces in Cowboy Mint, so that's a fun one. Speaking of Cowboy Mint, this is a new pouch. I think it's called the Penny Pouch, it's shaped like this. It's interesting. They've, as far as I know, never done anything with that scallop detail before this piece. And it, just like the sunglasses case, has that little squeeze top and just the inside of the leather inside there. So. I don't know what exactly I will use this for, but this is, the cowboy mint stuff is, are things that I'm keeping. But I'm, I'll figure something out. I thought it was really cute. I wanted to try it. I like to try new things when they release them. We'll figure that out. If you have ideas, let me know. I feel like, you know, it could work inside a bag, but it could also be something that sits on my desk. Little office supplies maybe. This is their taco pouch. I love their taco pouches. I have a couple of them. They have this big tassel, which is such a lovely feature. Zips around really easily. And I like to put keys in these because I have a big key fob thing and that keeps it from scratching other things in my purse. But I've recently started putting like hand sanitizer and lip balm and other things like that in here too. So this one's in the color plum again. Okay, this one was a surprise for me. I saw these on the website, I had no interest and then I saw it in the outlet and I was like, huh, I might be able to use that. This is the Gordita pouch. It reminds me of the round coin purses from Louis Vuitton, but it's bigger than that. If you look at my hand, 
I, can't, I have a round coin and I can't find it right now, but it's about the size of the palm of my hand. This is larger, as you can see. It's probably about an inch larger in diameter. And what I was thinking with this was the same thing as with the taco pouch, that this could be something where I could put my big key fob thing in there and then put it in my bag and it wouldn't take up as much room as the taco pouch does. So there's that. So we'll see. I haven't tried it yet. Now these are the Luna pouches. This is a pretty new release from Portland Leather and this is the small size. It comes in two sizes. This is in the color matcha, which is very pretty. It's a nice soft leather and it's fairly smooth. It has a little bit of wrinkling. And even though it's a small size, it has quite a bit of capacity. So you could fit a good number of things in here. Another good thing to put keys in, but also lip gloss and I don't know what. And this is the small Luna pouch in the color tamarindo, which obviously is a dark brown. Matcha is a really soft leather. This is more hardy, more sturdy, more stiff, more structure, however you want to say it. But that is how that one looks. And then I have two of the Luna pouches in the large size. One is still wrapped because I wanted to show you just how they come when they are sent to you via mail if you order online. So first of all, here's the large versus the small. And you can get the dimensions on the website, which of course I'll have linked below. Here are the bases next to each other and the sides next to each other. This large size is in the color mint, and I thought that would be a great size to put some miscellaneous things inside my bag too. And then this one, this is a color I've not seen in person. It's usually not a color I gravitate toward, so I don't even know if I'm going to like it, but it might be for someone else anyway. So let's see. Bam, it's pink. This is called Vintage Pink, and to me it looks like taffy, like a Laffy Taffy pink. So there you go. And that's the spin of the Large Luna in Vintage Pink. Another piece that's wrapped. I have wanted one of these for several months since they first dropped them, and they're never in stock on the website. I finally found one in stock. And it's the Mockingbird pouch in the color Peacock. It is actually a pouch to be able to put something inside of it, but there's like no room to put anything inside of it, so I really just got it to be a bag charm. I've seen some people do amazing things painting these, like they'll paint feathers and little details to make it look like particular kinds of birds, and those are fabulous, so I'd, who knows, maybe I'll... I got rid of all my paints though when we moved, I'd have to buy new paints. Maybe. But here you just open it, and then there, there's literally no room for anything in there, like Tic Tacs maybe, right? But I don't use Tic Tacs, so nothing will go in here some coins. I don't use coins either. Anyway, Mockingbird pouch. So that was finally everything. Let me know what your favorite item was and what your favorite color or leather was. And remember, I will have them linked below. They always have a 25% discount code on the website. Sometimes they go up to 30%. And if you have purchased from them before, you may have some points available. If you have certain number of points, you can use that in checkout if you're on your cell phone, not on your computer. For some reason, it doesn't work on the computer. But you can use those points at checkout to get $5, $10 on up off of your purchase if you have enough points. So that's everything. Let me know what you think. And now remember to go check out Andrea's video, AKB Bags. I will have it linked in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day.